How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Henry Stickman Collection. I'm very committed here. I, I've just been blown away by the, the reaction to these videos and it, it's been very interesting to be uploading them while I'm still working on recording them and getting that kind of immediate feedback loop of people being like, yes, go hard, do the full like version with all the fails, endings, achievements. Ooh, I'm looking at how long the last videos were with, you know, 40 fails. All of a sudden we're dealing with uh, 60, 17 different achievements. 60 bios almost. <laughs> it's also like pretty late in the day. I've been doing this for a while here. Let's just get going on things. Oh, I'm ready. I'm feeling excited. Well, for well. It. Look who finally decided to wake up. You've been quite elusive, but your skills make you worth the catch. You'll be perfect for the job. We've been having some issues with a group of thieves known as the Top Hat Clan. It's an no easy way to knock those off bio-wise. You'll be going into the airship to bring them down. I don't need to remind you that we've got you on several charges. Attempting robbery, breaking yourself out of prison. The donuts. <laughs> the Tunisian Timothy Lewis. I don't even remember that you. name. I'm sorry, you Timothy. Right, and we'll drop all charges against you. Charlie here will be bringing you close Charlie. to the airship. You rest. Charlie's my boy. He's kind of everyone's boy, really. Everyone loves that man. Hey, uh, how you want me to bring you in? I guess this doesn't really carry on from any particular ending with the diamond. Like, there's no specific one where you got picked up by this helicopter or anything. This lonely cat is just, like, meowing away at me down below, misty, and so she can just kind of chill out for a little bit here. So you might see the occasional, like, tail swish. Cannonball, earpiece, grapple gun, sticky hand. Ooh, that's some smooth animation. I like the way it stretches hot like that. Well, that's guaranteed to work. Not quite how I would have thought it would work. It was very massive. Top hat class one to three. You gotta make sure you're getting the top brass top hat. So you gotta go with that first class. <laughs> second and third class, they're really, you know, second rate and third <laughs> overall in quality. Oh my god, Cat, if this is how you're gonna be, you gotta go. Ball and chain, what is even, what are you hoping to achieve with either of these, man? I'm not seeing truly how either could work. Well, the carabiner. You didn't tell me a carabiner was involved. Very bad at their jobs. <laughs> I think other people call those other things. What? Lightning quick larcenist. Here it is, guys. You have truly hired the best of the best. Oh. It just had a teddy bear in it. Wait. It is, it is a fail. There's an achievement that's a thumbs up. But a uh, winner is you? You guys are just gonna take that away from me, huh? Doesn't count? That's truly devastating. Well, now do we know not to even bother trying to take that? How were we capable of that? And why have we not been making use of this talent more often? I like the, I like the broken glass effect. I don't really know where you were planning to put that. But we're not going to question the ability to do it. The fact that that was an option and that you could do it at all. We're just, that's fine. No, no, no big question there. Oh, I'm liking seeing the different ways in which these, these maps have been laid out so you can navigate your different endings. All right, grapple gun, shoot your way across. I like seeing... Puffball's comparison of how he redrew this part of the map, whereas before it was just like these weird planks sh shooting out the edge, jutting out the edge. There's no rail or anything, and he just joked about like oh, the top hat clan is too busy being evil to care about care about their personal safety. Bomb it up, chuck it right in there, cook cook that bomb a, a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, you've quickly seen the error of your ways. <laughs> Should he use the remote bombs? Or proximity mines, go full golden eye on them. Wait, usually I have to fail a quick time event for that to be uh, useful. Although it never really pays off this time. I think that's probably about uh, the best option sooner or later, right? 
four times. We only had to wait four times. That still means we did not wait that long at all. Key get. That's got to like build towards an achievement or something. Four different endings. All the fails, all the bios. Big ol' sword. Barnyard Blitz, Buttery Snack, Gold, Famous Movie Line. There was that one. Oh, God, there's a lot of secret achievements. I have no idea how many of them would have been in the original game. <laughs> We're already seeing that there's a shoop to whoop tucked away in here somewhere. None of these give me an immediate indication of maybe how, when, where I could utilize that key. Vent, elevator, and the computer. They're TC. It's their personal TC. PTC. Miss RPG Maker Cat Gifts. Civ 5, Civ 5, let's just play Civ 5 forever. Wait, that is totally the ending, isn't it? <laughs> I introduced uh, Brett Stickholm. Oh, that's so funny. To Civilization 6 on her iPad. And I I regret so badly that I essentially ruined her life with that. She, it's a, it was an old phase, but for like a month there, that was all she did. And I've lived it. We've all lived it. Just one more turn. I feel ya. There is nothing else. Just like the, the key there. I was seeing if there was anything else laying around like that that could be useful. It looks very short in that particular scene. Huh. May have not been an elevator. Could have sworn. I mean, it does only go down. How big is this airship? To think it had an elevator in it? That's wild. Now, now I feel foolish for ever thinking that. <laughs> A little dent it left there. <gasps> rupee, rupee, rupee. We gotta go get that, right? That's like probably as valuable, if not more valuable than a diamond. Just go for it. The vault, the cells, or it can be just turn right around and go whatever's in that direction. It's probably something useful. I don't know why there's just dangling chains. Stretch chewies. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick flap and a magic pencil. Play some line rider. Well, the teleporter paid off last time. It's like a one in three success rate so far. Let's see if we can bring that average up or down. Birds? Birds in that direction? <laughs> I genuinely... Cords? I genuinely don't know. Did we teleport something other than ourselves? It was a very different kind of sequence that played out. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'd better get going. Have fun here by yourself. That is like terrifying. Oh, this is like a terrible way to die. <laughs> and then whatever this omniscient narrator is just bails on you? That sucks. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that worked incredibly well. You didn't want to smash up ducks. I'm glad that you would be courteous and cautious of that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Hmm. He didn't. Ha he didn't have subtitles for whatever reason. <laughs> Rescuing that guy must pay off in a particular ending. It's a fun little uh, level of interactivity that doesn't exist oh. elsewhere in the game. I mean, now we're gonna call it wizard magic. Ten minutes ago, I don't know, five minutes ago, we called it static electricity finger charge. Or if we just start hacking things. The the paperizer, is that a Gabbit Gage item or retro glove? Retro glove, retro glove, retro glove. Or just put it right on the handprint thing there? No? You look like an idiot. <laughs> I had so much faith in that. How could old technology ever become obsolete? and not be useful. I refuse to accept that possibility. That's the, the dopiness of the face and the fact that his, his eyes shrank to little beadinesses is pretty funny. This is a real thing? This is working? Oh, I was wondering if you could start collecting all those paintings like uh, in the previous thing there. The parka, little hat. Ooh, the Final Fantasy. I don't know what this one is exactly, but it's kind of funny how similar they are. The golden gun, the halo blade, a golden top hat, giant golden coin. I'm curious who the heck that was who ducked in for a quarter of a second there. We got another Team Fortress guy, whereas we, we had the heavy 
in the last one, and now that's the scout. I don't know Team Fortress well enough. Looks kind of spirit away, spirited away esque. That might be Hypno Space Outlaw. Long Cat is like a Battle Cats thing. Just the classic farmer painting with the, the wife and the pitchfork. Anyways, we don't want to use the golden gun or any of these other uh, fun looking things. We use the claw pack. It seems like we're really getting distracted. <laughs> it kazooied us. Take care of your bird, uh, Claw. That's at least the third Banjo episode in these last, or er, reference in these last two episodes. Shrink and grow. Just ship that right, oh, sh shrink it, not us. Terrence, Sir Wilford. Hey, hey, oh. Stop right there. Oh, no, 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 I'm botching this. Know. Looks like he set off some sort There's of There's one that I missed. In the vault? What, he's going rogue? All right, move to plan B. Yeah, Come I really am doing my own thing. Up. Sorry about that. Oh, these helicopters uh, are not big. Uh, I got them right here, so you guys don't need to... so massive. Wow, that seems pretty unhelpful. Thanks a lot, guys. Great, great teamwork you have there. Can't, can't grab bios on those itty bitties. Wow, this is, I'm like still alive. This is still going. I have to do that again quickly or else I'm going to forget to go hunting oh, one more step back one more step back also just quick acknowledgement just who would have ever expected that the paperizer was gonna be the one that worked that just never seemed like a possibility oh that's the security guy the flash drive git oh but he was I was I was going back through that just for the bio to, to try and click on him there Golden gun guy, big cigar in his mouth. Oh, it wasn't even a different, wasn't even a different photo. It was nothing new. It went back for nothing. Well, taking a bit of a bio break here, which is just me enjoying a beer after uh, a long day of stick minning. Sometimes people say bio break and they mean they're gonna go to the washroom. For me, it means I'm gonna take a break to just read some bios. And not something I did intentionally, but I'm drinking a, a, a brewery called Bent Stick. <laughs> not just purely coincidental, but I'm all I'm all here for it. All right, bios. Let's learn. Let's learn a, a thing or two. There's so many characters. Oh, the security guard. He gets his own little thing at the end here. Dave Pampa, you're back. He's he's this guy. Nope, that's not him. He's this one. <laughs> New to the force, eager to do a good job. And then he was back yet again. He was fired from his previous job for negligence. He bounced back quickly, though, and found a new job as a security guard. And now here he is all the way back here, still with his, his hat. For one reason or another, he's been captured by the Top Hat clan and now sits in their brig. Not at all who I, I... I just didn't expect that to be a familiar face. That's fun. <laughs> Henry himself, captured by the government, he's been given the chance to clear his name by taking down the notorious Top Hat clan. Captain Gale Force. Ooh, that's hardcore. That sounds like a a Warcraft character. Like, it'll be Sylvanas, Windrunner, and Captain Gale Force. The man in charge of the undercover Top Hat raid. It was his idea to recruit Henry. He's got a little government thing. Does everyone have something with their like associations here? Did Dave Pampa get one? No. But I guess they're just distinguishing government and Top Hat. A veteran... Oh, Charles Calvin. Good to know his last name. A veteran helicopter pilot for the government. He's one of the youngest and most experienced pilots. And just oh so reliable. Rupert Price. Wow, okay, his sideburns are much more sideburny looking because I'm very used to them just kind of looking ridiculous. I even said in the last video, I was like, what are those? He looks like he has weird earmuffs on. He joined the police academy right out of high school and then he comes up again right here. Here, he was driving. His workplace suffered a huge embarrassment. He's determined to work extra hard now. And now he got picked up. He moved through the ranks quickly. He felt he could do more in the military than he was as a policeman. We're getting some, like, 
not necessarily redemption arcs, kind of, but just some cool continuity here. Reginald Copperbottom. Oh, look at that devious mustache pull. Obviously, he's a bad guy, just realizing now he has two top hats on. The current leader of the Top Hat Clan, he wears the hat of the previously dethroned leader on top of his standard issue top hat. Right hand man, he's the Top Hat Chief's right hand. Nobody knows his true name. <laughs> he's badass though, very intimidating. Jeffrey Plumb. His abnormally large head makes it difficult for him to see. <laughs> Why is that? That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Shouldn't he have a big head and proportionally big eyes? His squintiness means nothing. It means it would be really hard to size hats for him. There's not going to be that. You're going to need a specialty tailor. Presumably the Top Hats clan of villains aren't walking into your average hattery. Oh, there's a word for that that I'm blanking on. But you're not going to walk in and be like, Oh, we need a bunch of matching hats for our evil clan. No, you gotta like hire someone on hand, someone within their uh, force or gang or clan here. Makes hats in house, and even then, his head's too big. It's too difficult. Sledge Mac Rush. He can swing a sledgehammer faster than most people swing a blade. And Hans Spearman, a bit of a loose cannon. He's known for stabbing wildly with great range. Yeah, Spears will help you a lot with that, man. Cup of Joe. <laughs> he volunteered for the tech support job so he could be alone and mess around on the computer. Playing lots of Civ. Oh, he's totally the one who busts us out there, too. I, he just has a very fancy hat, much fancier than most. Terrence Suave, the previous leader of the Top Hat clan. Okay, we're, we're learning a little bit of the, the more fleshed out history here. He was overthrown because of his reckless nature and poor leadership. Okay, well that's... I mean, as long as they have some sort of uh, standards within this villainous troop. Oh, he's got all kinds of hats. Sir Wilford the Fourth, fourth of his name, one of the strongest leaders in Top Hat clan history. Oh, but he's not around anymore. These are all previous. Billy G. Is that like a Billy Jean reference? Kind of not really. He was quite the romantic, despite multiple claims that he's not my lover. Yes, thank you. It is a Billy Jean reference somehow. It makes sense, but it doesn't. I still caught on. I thought up until like two years ago, I swear, that it was Billy Jean is at my door. I think that's what I would. Now it's hard to think of what I used to get it wrong as. But Billy Jean is at my door. It never made sense. How foolish I was. Oh my god. Trunk? Trunk? T-R-N-K? A failed experiment in resurrecting a long dead leader. He came back with a lot of horns, buck teeth, muscly arm. I mean, maybe, maybe all of that was there prior. Maybe none of that is the result of the experiment. Didn't last long before he turned on everyone. Weird. What a, a weird slice of character history. <laughs> Green shell. Can't be beat. Flawless. Never misses. <laughs> oh god, that last little dip into the blade there at the end. What exactly was your plan there? Well, I was gonna surf on, on it straight out of here. Into the air. Armor. Load yourself up. Full Fallout style. Unstoppable. Super hardcore. Take down the whole airship. That was incredible. Well done, Henry! Okay! Truly unstoppable. Hey, we got the Chaos Containment Center coming back around. This is just our own independent path and ending at this point. We're just stealing this giant ruby. Oh god, there's so many guys. Oh, I only got a fraction of them. There's so many all over the place here. What in the heck? That was so many things to click. Angry face. We're not built to deal with this man. We gotta fail. You single-handedly are just going, going at it. You're gonna take care of this. It's a lot to take on. Ooh, the flash drive has come back. I almost feel like I gotta like do that again, just because it's just frantic clicking of like a thousand different guys. We'll do the propane tank quickly first and go for a couple of different endings here. It's a ratty hat. Big old rat hat on this guy. It's a bottom hat. It's not a top hat. Hank Hill quote. Tell you what. <laughs> Why did I say it so aggressively? Talk about propane. Propane accessories. 
I'm good at Hank Hill. Boy, I tell you what. There, I nailed it. It's a flawless impression. Impressions are a thing I'm good at. And it can't be argued otherwise. Maybe a spoonful of sugar will make you feel a bit better for your tea, Mr. Poppins. All right, I don't think I could click those two guys who like passed by in the background there. It wouldn't let me click them yet. It expects, expects me to click the 8 million characters that show up on screen for fractions of a millisecond. I don't think there was anyone standing in front of the, the chaos center. This escalates quickly. There's like a dead guy on the ground over there. It seemed like that. Oh, I managed to snag a couple of new ones. Oh, I was getting newbies all over the place there. That little cluster of three, I don't know. He had like a pen. I want to know everything he had in there. All right. Quick glance at the bio. I was not going to read them all right now. Uh, one guy with a white top hat. And oh, one, like one more of the guys standing in that little cluster. Now that I have some, some targets in mind, specific people to click on, maybe it'll be a little easier. It's helpful that it, you can see a little grayed out picture like that. There's like quite the epic battle going on down here. White top hat, white top hat, there he is. Oh, I snagged him. There was a lot of forgiveness there. That was not like the skill or anything. Oh, he was standing there over by himself. I honestly don't know if you can click that little cluster of three. How's everyone's day going? <laughs> Having a good time, are we? Is it this guy by himself there? Ah, oh, it wasn't even. It's not even the guy that I thought it was. Last. Last attempt here. I think it's not him. This lone guy? Oh, are you kidding me? What? Oh, it's a top hat guy, not a military guy. I'm clicking on the wrong group. This is why. This is why the beer. For now. Achieving this one better be five star ranked difficulty. I'm just gonna start spam clicking right here. There he was, right on the absolute edge there. That, the guy, the Australian sounding guy who was like a hired sniper in the previous thing got stabbed by the spy. He, that, that character returns. He had one line and he killed us in that one <laughs> ending or fail. Oh, I'm specifically, that's not even, what did I just click then? That's not even what I thought it was. Oh, that's absurd. I don't know which other of those that I was missing that I just got as a new bio during that then. That's enough of that for now. L cut MK2 Mortal Kombat, maybe? Ah, yes, just cut out the entirety of this little chunk of Earth and just launch it. There you go, you don't even need an airship. You can just launch the entirety of Earth. We'll take our problems and push them somewhere else. That's very uh, Futurama garbage disposal disposal solution. Deb, dark energy bomb. Oh, people lying around, anyone? Oh, just fully vaporized. I do feel a little bad about that. Apparently they do too. His wife and his son. <laughs> <laughs> include this little, sad little goodbye for that random character. We only have 13 of 16 unique fails. Oh my good golly sweet Molly. This might take a while. Scratched out. Who knows what it could be. Gaben. <laughs> His gadget Gabe meant to be a, a Gaben reference. Attempting data recovery. Attempt slash success. How could it possibly fail? It's everything we possibly thought it could be. Oh, it froze? Okay. <laughs> I thought that might have actually been a glitch. Stack Overflow, could not find file. Half-Life 3, Gaben.dll. That's all right. That's funny. Would that have said like Half-Life 3 before it was scratched out or something? The prototype. What is that floating around? Oh, it's these guys. I don't know who these guys are. I just... It seemed odd that there was something floating around there. That's epic. Big robo arms, a, a, a sword for an arm. Oh, new bio. I just got all excited. Three top hats standing together. This guy's really stoked on his own like success there. Yeah, he 
didn't want to do that before your massive battle? Or like, just pee yourself or something, you know? It's not the time. Ken. Let him go. What? We got Dope. what we came for. He's not worth the trouble. So, am I exonerated and I get to keep the ruby? Because that's a great ending for me. Pure blooded thief. I, yeah, I guess a thief right to the end, no matter, <laughs> no matter the cost. There's some, really some shit that happened there. First actual ending, yes, of course. I forgot that that other, other ending did not count. All right, flash drive? Carl, this code is important, but I'm not sure what it's for. One, two, one, four. Secret doc dot text. Make sure no one finds it. One, two, one, four. Not complicated, but still might be easy to forget in the future. Work backwards. Uh, a few more fails down this path. The gravity manipulator. Like, like I'm saying, we just love playing around with gravity. I think you pulled the wrong trigger. That one launches. Well, I guess the other one would have been pulling. That, could, that would have been useful, but like, is pulling the ruby with a gun easier than just carrying the ruby? <laughs> What's heavier, the ruby or the gun? The wizard magic. I'm glad that you pulled out a hat specifically for this. Roll the one. <laughs> I'm very appreciative of, of the like generalized D&D &D references that get included here. Hack, hack the mainframe. Just start ripping out wires, yeah. What? Art lol, 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 lol. <laughs> I don't, I, I think clicking on the wall earned that. It wasn't just automatic. What are you doing? That's quite shocking. I'm glad I'm not in your current situation. I bet you can't wait to go ohm. <laughs> Definitely the biggest stretch of the four, but I appreciate the, the effort there. You appear to have used all the available electricity puns. So, you know, I'll, I'll give you a pass on that. Back to the engine room, the record side. That's what it is. My head was covering so much, I didn't know. Stretch chewies. It just seems like a healthy snack. Oh, chewies that make you stretch. Straight into the gear. Really, really grinds him up. Raffle. I love when he squeezes in little extra bits of commentary, like hidden, buried away down there. Hidden, but it's, you know, just less obvious. Oh, you weren't just gonna build a bridge straight across? Oh, oh my groin! Why did you draw a nutshot crawler? <laughs> I don't know, it seemed like the right thing to do. Ooh, that's the most crabobbly my voice has ever been in my life. The joy buzzer. I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm sure. Well, I think that's a success, isn't it? Remind me to never shake your hand. I mean, Henry personally might not really see that as a success, but the government is going to be super on board. X-Panda. Oh, it's X-Pand, of course. <laughs> that makes much more sense. Watching it gloop out of there is quite disgusting. Presumably, it'll be much more effective than it is gross. Effective? I think it said, do not shake well. Shake poorly. Just gyrate it a little. Perhaps no shake at all. That clears that entire path. I love that the cargo bay branch is like really nothing. It just doesn't work. The ear piece. Ooh, I think that's where we work with Charlie, which is obviously the best, which means I'd rather do hey, cannonball I'm looking first. at the numbers here. What do you think? Ah, oh, yes. Let me have a look. Numbers. Good. Oh, he's double monocled, which I, I love. Ooh. Go, go. I'll hold him off. Epic entrance. Just oh, you and me, right hand man. He's using his right hand. He's really got to live up to that name. It's a, a chicken or egg scenario, really. It's hard to say. Whoa. The way that gears up is so awesome. Laser, laser, laser. I'm very excited for it. I didn't realize it would be a part of the ball. It was worth it. It was awesome. Took everyone down with us. Newton's third law. One force is actually two forces, and they uh, are the same, but they're also different. Yeah, something like that. 
It worked exactly as we planned. <laughs> Wait, is the chair also going to be in the bubble? Thruster. Thruster the bubble. Blast it upwards. It might be hard to get the angle quite right. Well, thanks a lot for that, man. He shot me so hard my thruster got better. You know, I really expected you to go faster with those thrusters. It's true. Even that rocket-powered scooter or motorized scooter was much faster. Any other thrust-related thing in this series is much more aggressive. Just sit back, relax, have a nice sit-down in our chair, and enter maximum gaming mode. He seemed a little disappointed, didn't he? Just Everyone a little bummed up. out. He's wearing a hard hat under his top hat. I love it. Safety first. Or maybe like style first? That seemed very effective. Yes, okay. Hurry up now, activate the doors. No, there's no time. We've got you cornered. Metal fist. There's nowhere you could possibly run and hide. Well. I don't know how he achieved that. He's closing all them in sequence behind us, but also one in front. What kind of trickery is that? I think it would have been cooler if you turned into a rhino. Was that an option? Why, why would you bring that up as a, a one of the potential uh, avenues there if that's like not something you could actually do? Warp. Wow, this seems much more effective than the teleporter. We should warp more often. Seems fun. He had a blast. He's all tuckered out from his big warp. Some are not mentally prepared enough for alternate dimensions. Yeah, it seems like it would be a little taxing. Hurry up now. Maybe a bit much. That bling really drags behind. Presumably slowing down his escape. Beams! Super powered. More gross than I expected it to be. Hey, you're back locked up again? Sorry about that, bud. This is a timeline where you just unfortunately didn't get a, didn't get away with it. Metal bend. Hot damn. That's real effective. That's very satisfying. Toss would be impressed. You're a bender, Harry. From Gandalf. From from Gandalf. That's how people read quotes, right? They're given like a gift. Rocket jump. Flawless! Oh god, it worked! Why would that have left? Ultimate showdown. Yeah, channel that inner Ness. Or Lucas, one of them. Oh, is it actually? It's actually going full earthbound. That's beautiful. I'm I'm obsessed. Psy beam! Psy flash B! The right hand man could not stop crying. He fired a gun! <laughs> Mortal damage, and we got hurt and collapsed. Yeah, I think getting blasted with a gun is gonna hurt a little bit. I'd be crying if you flashed me too. Um, no one wants me to flash. No one answered that. It's rhetorical. <laughs> we don't need the comment section deteriorating into that delinquency. Let's bash him. Give him one of these. We hurt him a little bit. Created a massive shockwave. And super killed me. Turns out this guy doesn't even need a gun. He's got many means of dealing out lethal damage. What did you expect hitting him with a yo-yo? That was pr approximately what it said. <laughs> Are these counting as individual fails or is losing this battle in any way a fail? Goods? Henry fired the multi-bottle rocket. Oh, just obliterated him. I won. Good. World peace achieved. Oh, massive experience boost. Level up, level up. Spend it all on strength. There's no other stat that's important. Beef up, beef up. Get that protein in you. Pile that on top of leveling up. Unstoppable. Oh, gross. That was kind of sick. Beef up. See results in up to eight seconds. Uh, yeah, but it, as long as it doesn't crash and fail after like the first four seconds if you survive through that Then the results are astounding. You wouldn't believe it. It just tends to not go great Oh, there's like a bunch of different ways that this could go. I'll mess around with that a bit more do the yo-yo stuff 
I, I don't know. I'm just going random here on the ways that I'm choosing to bounce back and forth between the different options. Like, oh, I'll fully explore all these fails before I move on. I'm just following whatever seems to fit best. Damage, damage, damage killed me so much. Just took a pummeling. The best offense is a good defense. Somebody unsuccessful. <laughs> It doesn't work out the way you would expect it to. Is that Pokemon? Oh, Final Fantasy. Gotcha. Tools. Chainsaw. <laughs> Go full Jason on him. Oh, that was a death? It's such a long, drawn-out process that it's very hard to tell if I actually won that or not. Even more experience. And I got a tent? I don't really understand what I'm going to do with a tent. Should have kept you locked up. <laughs> I, 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 I got to see through all the different uh, battle options here. To bust out the Dirk again. Could I just run? It was like fleeing an option. Uh, a regular fight. Quick little slash. This guy's packing bombs. Dropping bombs. Knowledge. Rap bombs. Physical bombs. Out of all those options, you chose fight? How boring. That is pretty rudimentary, isn't it? I wonder, going back to my Flash playthrough of this, I know, I know I didn't achieve every single fail in, in those old videos. So certain parts of this are going to be 100% new to me. Suplex. And it's just kind of, uh, most of it I forget. Like, almost all of it I forget. There's so much of it. Oh my god, that was hardcore. Elite! <laughs> was that a chain gun or like a rail gun? I thought chain gun shot fast, not one ginormous bullet. I thought for sure that would have done it. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. It, it did not go great overall. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of personally curious. No one feel the need to look this up. What I might have missed back then. Reflect! We're gonna fire ourselves, Henry, don't you see? Ah, oh, it's too bad we're such a supreme wizard. Good at frost magic? Well, kind of, we're kind of bad at frost magic. Lightning? Pretty bad at that one, too. Fire seemed effective. Gee, that backfired. 10 out of 10 jokes here, folks. I think we need to lay off the magic. It has not been a strong suit. Glide. Gentle. Sail across. Cannot go wrong. Flawless. She even had a successful little bit of music to go along with it, which is pretty funny. Miscellaneous firearms. Choking him out with his bling? That's pretty intense. I'm defeating my right hand man. I surrender the airship to you. Nope. I want an airship. I'll take it. Oh, I'm glad I started clicking randomly for all those. Hmm. Ah, oh, the new grounds tank. Oh, also there's a hat there. Which, like, oh, I see the split down the middle. Who I choose to help? Well, I gotta pick the new grounds tank, because it's just hardcore and it's awesome. I love me some new grounds. Unstoppable, right? Just like a cat, always lands on their feet. Just as we would uh, expect. Good for you, Gary Price. Official pardon. This document is to certify Henry Stickman has been pardoned of all crimes. Dope. I honestly don't remember what that guy's name was. Price might have been right. Relentless bounty hunter. Nailed it. I like how... Oh, I've really ruined my voice by playing like hours and hours of games today. That, uh... Puffballs like writes his name out differently. Oh! Warren Malaysia. <laughs> as soon as I saw this set up there, I was like, that's gotta be, it's gotta be a callback, right? Not only is it a callback, it's better. It's better than it was before. That's, that is my new favorite choop to whoop. That, Cause that's how I feel right now. My throat, my voice is giving out, out. I am that choop. Currently, that's me, man. I feel ya. I feel ya fully. Well, we'll do the other military-related one. Chuck the parachute out. We don't have good luck with parachutes. We're 
Zero for one. Well, now we're now we're one for two. Whoops, butterfingers. <laughs> And just chuck some dummies out to distract them. Oh, I wish the dummies had profiles. I very much assume not. <laughs> you fools. You think they're all right? Pretty big fall. I'm sure Henry Walk had it a off. Plan. I hope they think that's actually us. Well, there's no catching Henry! them. A rapidly promoted executive. We're the leaders! Oh, okay, Puffballs has written out the same that time, but I feel like sometimes he, he often writes it differently to fit, like, maybe it's different per larger episode rather than different per ending. I thought he had a unique one for every ending at one point there. There's two, two successful endings that branch off of this, this final end point here, and let's just shoot him down! I mean, I thought we had a deal. He landed a few critical hits there. On second thought, that might not be such a good idea. I thought we had an arrangement. I thought we were working together. What you doing going at me like that? It's not like I betrayed you first. That was a stray, unrelated rocket. Jet Boots production notes. Fight lighter, fine lighter material to construct boots out of. I guess they did look like they were made out of straight up iron. The Robo Pants. Oh, I can't believe I didn't do those first. They look incredible. Look at the, that awesome, like, hydro power or whatever the heck they could potentially be. They're unstoppable. Mm, you gotta stay in the pants, though. You forgot to wear the harness, didn't you? Yeah, but that's for, like, babies. I'm a, I'm a man. Don't need it. Just let the quick time the fail. I think I, I think I did the other failed ones. Two fails, one success. Yeah, yeah, just let that one play out. Okay, okay. No more quick time events. How's your head, by the way? <laughs> this game, uh, just having the two in the row isn't too crazy. I feel like stealing the diamond had a section where it was just like one after another after another. It was really over the top. This one I just got right on the first try, so we got all kinds of things to play around with. Spikes! Just fully defensive. Wow, that thing is colossal. I see you went with a defensive move. Good choice. Yeah, but I I still lost. <laughs> what, it, what, what was with it specifically doing the colossal thing, but then overwriting itself? Does that happen every time? Oh, no, no, there's something strange there. That was not meant to be that way. Perhaps if I just let that play out? That thing is colossal. Oh, it's even got the little eyebrows. I must have got the timing of that so precise that I, I allowed both to activate. Boost! Thrusters! Maximum thrusters this time. None of those weak, flimsy ones. Gotta go fast! Oh, by the way, there's a, a ramp to the door. Well, that's another path cleared out. We're making progress. Perhaps this episode will not be like three hours long the way they were starting to ramp up in length the way it was seeming it might be. Do you know what it's time for? Bios. Need, a, need a, an opportunity to read up on a few bios here. Matthew Norbert. He joined the Top Hats because he couldn't really think of anything better to do. Boredom is a good reason to join a villainous evil organization. Benjamin Bourgeoisie? Bour Bourgeois? Is that Borsuius? Loves playing single-player, linear, story-heavy video games. Well, I've got just the one to recommend. Thomas Chestershire. He wears two monocles for twice the class. Oldman. <laughs> He's actually not that old, but the gray hair caused everyone to give him that nickname. Uh, Steve Martin Syndrome. Herb Stokes. A master crane operator. He's invented four tricks you can only do with a crane. He did seem like he was really ready for action at the, the, the drop of a hat there. Could have, could have benefited from you back when we were breaking into that bank. Herb Stokes. That seems like a mistake. Ah, yes. I don't actually... I thought I missed unlocking that bio. I was clicking around quite furiously. Oh, that character might have come up in a different scene. This specific screenshot, that one, I missed clicking on them. I might have snagged them later when they were mini. Two-Ton Tony. He switched from the Mafia to the Top Hat Clan. They had more flexible hours, 
and more stylish gear. Tony, he totally was in a previous game. This one, presumably, this game, I mean, said something about a secret mafia guy. Tony France, secretly in the mafia. There he is, he's chilling in the doorway. He's finally found a, a place that suits him best. Jarsh Finks, <laughs> he's secretly been considering leaving the Top Hat clan. He's really let himself go. Manual friend. He was so eager to finally fly on the airship. It was his dream ever since he joined the Top Hat clan. And it came to such a dramatic, crushing end for the poor guy. Is this not Jarsh? Okay, Harry Putts. <laughs> He'll never admit it, but he joined the Top Hat clan to get back at everyone that made fun of his name growing up. Round a pounder. <laughs> Round a gun pound ya. That's his catchphrase. Potentially the best character in the entire series, right here. Whoever I said, like an episode ago, writing them off. This guy is the one now. Mr. Blank. Blank, white, was on track for a doctorate. So he was going to be Dr. Dr. Blank. But ran into financial troubles. He joined the Top Hat clan in hopes of funding himself again. Knack Damper. He follows orders. All his money goes into his flower shop back home. Flex Hamley. Wait, is there a joke there with Mac Damper? Not that I'm seeing. Flex Hamley, a meathead. Unleash him, and he's like a mad dog. Nerto Kega. <laughs> he's kind of anime running. He learned the secret technique to running away faster. Plus, it makes it harder to get hit by bullets. He's, he's unstoppable now that he's tapped the secrets. Bob Haas. This is his first mission outside of training. He's really worried. He won't do a good job. It doesn't seem like it has gone well. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Joe Hunter. He was hoping to see some action in the Top Hat mission. Good thing Henry failed then. Rayu. He joined the Top Hat clan in hopes of traveling the world to find the strongest fighters. Quick Street Fighter reference. Oh, and then is that guy supposed to be Ken, actually? Oh, and wait, he's he's Ken? Ah, and then I, I don't know my Street Fighter characters well enough, but this is also Kent. He was betrayed by his friend who left the Academy to join the Top Hat clan. He hopes to bring him back. Oh, so this would be Rayu. Samuel Mundy. The character that I've desperately wanted to know more about. Then he just gets killed off. He was contracted out in case a large battle with the Top Hats broke out. Well, you're in luck. Jacques Latouche. Or Latouche? Latouche? Jacques Latouche? A sneaky devil. He tries to disguise himself as members of the enemy ranks. Though his Top Hat never disappears. It's not the most effective disguise, then. <laughs> you're always going to be identifiable as a member of the Top Hat clan. It doesn't get you very far. Mr. Brimley. Brim of a top hat. Wears his hat super low, which makes it a bit difficult to see, honestly. Sammy Sorry. He refuses to ever apologize for anything. On principle. People are already calling him Sorry Sam often enough and inferring that he's sorry. He'd rather not prove them right. Nate Box. He was called into action before he passed his close quarters combat training. So he just got punked, hey, by... Sledgy Swisher. That's not a name at all. I don't remember what the hammer guy's name was. Quick Draw McGraw. One of the fastest shooters in the Top Hat Clan. His accuracy is not so good, though. Goo Guy. One awkward conversation about goo on your first day. And that's all you're known for? What you doing rambling about goo? Shut up about goo. There's only so much to be said there. You're just going on and on about it. Wilson Stone. The director of his branch of the CCC. His employees agree he's one of the best directors. Larry Gordon. For someone who works at a center for chaos containment, he doesn't take the news of chaos very well. Yeah, he's very bad at keeping his shit together. He was really starting to wig out hard. Abigail Stone. Oh, oh right. So that's the leader here. It was the leader who's wife and kid. Wife of Wilson Stone. His time away can be tough. But they've weathered many years together. Timmy Stone, son of Wilson and Abigail. He loves spending time with his dad when he comes back from work, which isn't often enough. 
He still doesn't know how to get the spiral on that football just right. Mert Steele. Oh, I hope all three of these Action Jackson crew members have sick names. Creator of the mobile suit prototype, along with his brother. He sketched up the schematics and did the math. And Term, Term Steel is going to be one of them. Kurt, creator of the mobile suit prototype, along with his brother, he constructed and engineered the suits. And then some other guy with a tiny bladder who didn't really qualify for uh, for a bio. <laughs> That's a shame. Really, really know how to leave your mark, eh? Hey? There's, there's nothing to be seen there. Check, this is Charles. Thought I'd uh, give you a heads up. Uh, there's a guy down there, Charles. a bad guy. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. That wasn't that specific or useful. I appreciate you trying, but... More details next time, please. Just like, even just a touch more to go off of would be great. <laughs> you know when they blow stuff up and they say, take cover? That's why. Just hello. Anyone want to come hang out? Have a quick chat? Ah, seems like that guy's not much of a talker. They probably would have let you in if you had Girl Scout cookies with you. Damn, next time. Where's that in our options? Yes. <laughs> Maybe want to apply directly. None of this fancy pouring technique. I can't stand acid either. Vacuum. Which, how the world is that a thing? Can I, can I bio you guys? Are there people in here that I can click on? Hey, good job there. There we not. Oh, uh, so we should probably look for something incriminating. Something that we can use to prove that they're criminals, you know? I mean, the whole point of this operation. Charles, you're a real human. thinker. We've been tasked with developing new weapons for the That's class. That's so Winston. Any ideas? I, was kind of thinking. Eh. I didn't really recognize those other guys, but that's the, the guy we, like, framed. So, makes sense that he might be helping them out. Transdimensionalizer. Visit alternate dimensions with the flick of a switch. Gabe approved. It's super easy to use and gives awesome results. 1435. Is that what we need to change to one, two, one, four? You went to the first dimension. It's okay, just flip the switch up to get back to... Oh, oh right. I don't know if that's anything I can interact with. Where would I use that? The glue, I'll try the glue. I, it, I can't seem no, to actually click on that. Well, man, you do realize how much a solid gold cannon would weigh, don't you? Ew, we totally Solid gold, it seems like it would be worth it. Well, Just showing I'm off. Here, so I'm not really sure what to say. No one would mess with you if they thought you had that yeah. kind of spending money. Force jammed again. Oh, hey, uh, you see that record sign? Where it says records? That'd probably be a good place to look, right? Let me just, uh, help you get across that gap. Why? Why? We were over there for so long, and it never okay, was relevant. Uh, let me just this thing in here for you. Teleporters always work great, even when we're not on the controlling end. Rather than us teleporting into a wall, we're getting walls teleported into us. Targeting system must be a little off. Yeah, I have this thing here that can More gravity, gravity things. We love playing around with gravity. To float across. Let me just wait. This, I I had a little interview with Puff Balls for that flashlight episode that I'm working on, and that is his single favorite. Uh, fail from the series. Possibly excluding completing the mission. He might have a new favorite after that. So wait, does up increase the gravity or does it lift you up in the air? He just thought that that fail was clever, unique, unexpected. It's not a reference to anything. It's entirely his own. And just the gag of what precisely do up and down do in that situation? I agree. It's all around. It's not the most like immediately flashy one, but like the the unexpectedness of him just getting smushed flat and the cleverness of that. It's all it's all great. My reaction I feel like was subdued because having talked to him about that recently, I kind of knew what was going to happen there. Right, Robo yeah. helper. Get on in here, butts. Butts the flying fox. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is that not the big head guy? Bone melt? Jesus. That seems extreme. Oh, he's got a little mustache. Maybe he just has a small hat. 
Oh, that's kind of disgusting. Why are we focusing on oh, it for so man, long? I remember this. Thing nobody knows about this, or we'd be in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Fraud, members, profiles, research. I'm just gonna oh, let that. Oh man, that thought just flew right into the propeller. Oh, what a mess. That's not the guy who's like sipping his coffee out on the balcony? This isn't a good time, Charles. But still, that does sound crazy. Oh, there's something weird about only having a two dots dot dot. You gotta have three, or else it's no ellipses of mine. I don't oh, want to see none of that. Thing nobody knows about this. Or we fell around in all your trouble. files here. <laughs> Ninja Star. Oh, I, I stopped th those files from leaking, getting out into the wrong hands. You missed. How could you miss? He was like three feet in front of you. Oh, it happens. Man, you ever play coup? Thing it's really hard to throw things at things when you're close together. Spook him. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. <laughs> the like wide eyed stun no look there is lots of guys well achieved. Lots of guns, that's all I'm gonna say. It looks like you can get around if you go through that air duct. But then how am I gonna get the bios? I feel like I gotta click everyone right, to I'm into their power get that. grid. What do you want me to do? Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Make animal noise? I don't understand what that means. It seemed like a good option at the time. I... Is this Mass Effect? That has this, like, selection ring thing? I don't recall. And maybe that's where the sheep comes in. Shut the power okay. off. Turn down the power now. Okay, instead of okay. Should start committing to the NKs more often, personally. Ah. All the power. <laughs> Let's hope the landing right, gear still grid. has power. I just assumed he wouldn't turn it back on in time. Okay, I'll Reroute. The power to a random room. That's fine. <laughs> His, like, lackadaisalness of, like, ah, yeah, okay. Oh, that's everyone. Yes, I love getting all the bios right, without Henry, having to go hunting there. too hard. Right outside, so just open the bay doors that and big uh, guy, I've seen him chopper. before. I mean, hey, didn't have to go hunting too hard, uh, except for that time I had to replay that one section, like, seven big. times. But Charles, with his just like, ah, oh, yeah, great, I'll do it. That sounds like a good idea to me. I'm on board. I probably shouldn't have ran right at that. It's probably a bad idea for me to get involved. Wow, that was bright. Snooze, snooze straight through. Huh, just gonna knock a bunch of like ducks out of the sky. You snooze, you lose. Or I guess in this case, you don't snooze, you lose. Well, at least that one. We would have the opportunity to, like, attempt another thing. Unless time is of the essence. In which case, we shouldn't be sitting here talking about it. The banana bomb! Which I think is worms? Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely worms. Thanks, Charles. You're good at this. Dun dun dun. Ooh, banana! <laughs> oh, that's... Ooh, banana is... Uh, Donkey Kong 64, I think, but then it's, I love the way that they made like a top hat logo out of it instead. Perfect achievement. Hey, they caught that a hardcore. On your ear piece. You should press it. Just telling you now? That was What's going? freaking awesome. I love this gun. It's better for rocket jumps. It's everything about that was great. I want that gun to be my solution to every encounter I ever have from now on. The government supported private investigator. The infamous Top Hat clan has been apprehended. Hundreds of arrests made, many still at large. Authorities tipped off by anonymous source. Top secret. It's a secret. <laughs> okay, we're in the, the home stretch of the failures right, here. There was one more here. Do do? I don't think the sheep counted. I don't need Sorry, your help, Charlie. Need help, Keep your nose out of it. I've had just about enough of you today. Good hustle. <laughs> Could have made it. Just got oh, so Just I remember this. picked up the knees a little higher. This, really hoofed it. <laughs> the falcon kick. Falcon. Gotta stop trying those. I think you put too much energy into it that time. Before it was not enough, it's impossible. 
right. It's always weird when you get it right on the first time, and then there's just kind of like, you just got to go back in order to lose a bunch. Wow. This guy really is a moron. I love the way that Puffballs does, like, stunned looks. It works so well with their, like, long eyes. <laughs> Controlling another person is harder than it looks, okay? All right. Get to bring out the big guns. Charlie's stoked. Just... Hey, to go now? To, to, oh. Wow. It didn't even hit the door. <laughs> it would have been hard to, okay? The angles aren't quite right. All right uh, Remote access. There's a security system. I should be able to open the door from here. Just... Whoops. Wrong subroutine. This is like, oh, I, yeah, I, I can probably open it. That sounds like the sort of thing I'd be good at. The Charles. Charles, look at that, look at that. How is that not the most reliable face you've ever seen? Of course. All right, here I come. Of course I want you to come out, Charles. <laughs> I, I specifically do remember that one because it's like my favorite ending. That He's just like so gung-ho, so on a dime. I'm, I'm in there, man. You got it. You call, Charles comes a-running. Hey, look. Charles is here, exactly where he needs to be at the appropriate speed and response. It's right, perfect. So if we go up to three caliber, hey, you there? What do you think you're doing, Hi, Smith? Everyone. Right? What are you doing here, mate? Your wife's just gone into labor. Take that escape pod behind you. It'll take you right to the I like hospital. Like that guy's orange hat. Go ahead. Don't worry. I'll tell you, chief. This time we do know it's an escape pod. <laughs> well then. Frequent failer. All the fails. Oh, congratulations. Happy Father's Day. Poor actual Smith, who's getting robbed of that sweet, beautiful moment with his family. Wrapping up the bios in this lengthy, lengthy video. Hatchman. Nicknamed as such because he watches the hatch. Like a doorman, but for hatches. So many people with very specific nicknames. Slice. It's pretty cool. Took a blade to the face during an encounter. Now he prefers to stay behind the scenes. And Winston Davis lost his truck driving job due to multiple investigations after a stowaway was found inside the bank. Magnus Erickson. Ooh, that goatee, that white hat. This guy's got his life figured out. An eager new member looking to move up in the ranks. Floyd Winters, someone who has nothing to prove. A big bold hat that says everything about his personality that needs to be said, and then he's just silent as the grave all at all times. He picked out the most stylish hat he could find when he joined Dreams of Opening a Worm Farm one day. Derbert Daniels. He's been hooked on the hot new mobile game, Between Us 2. I'm not seeing the particular reference, but is that he's like looking at his phone? Is that what's going on there? Douglas gets stuck indoors. Merle. He's not a big fan of being airborne. He's looking to transfer to a different division. Wilhelm Kreinghaus. He's pretty sharp when it comes to technology. The airship stores are just notoriously finicky. Yeah, it's taking him like ages to open that up. Handsome Harold. <laughs> he considers himself the face of the top hats. With 18 charisma, he's good at talking his way out of a bad situation. And he's got a pretty pointy hat which is just great. Handsome Harold. Hmm, there's some iffy stuff that's happening with some of these. That's unfortunate. Uh, don't know if there's much that can be done about that. Like that, all of them. All of them are suddenly Matthew Norbert. Not quite all of them, many of them. Something, something went a little awry there. Big old sword. Ledden says the top hats have it. Buttery snack, yum yum, famous movie line, not that famous, and B. Yeah. So I got, I got, I got four, four secret ones. I got to dig up here. Barnyard Blitz. I have no. It sure is animally in here. I don't get it. I don't know what that one was all about. Torrented movies, pirated MP3s, incriminating evidence, international incidents, plop box. There's a lot of things going on there. There's something. Here, oh, that that I'm I'm supposed to click on. I couldn't 
figure this one out quite myself. I It's like 1.30 in the morning and this, I've already been playing for well over an hour and these videos are, are taking a while so I unfortunately I'm gonna use a, a walkthrough from the old Flash version to, to help me along with some of these. Uh, if there's a guide for J Jefferson Smithsonian is the president apparently. If there's a guide for oh that went the military one didn't I? That's not the one I want. I need the the top hat ending. Yes, it's time I I use some walkthroughs to aid me in this because I'm even with the walkthroughs I'm not making the right choices. I sincerely hope that I'm forgiven for this this marginal cheatery. I just could not do it alone. So you go to this ending where you succeed alongside the Top Hat Clan, and when the computer screen comes up, there's a Team Fortress 2 icon that brings out a scout, which, like, I know of Team Fortress 2, but I, like, don't know it well enough to understand what the hell that is. But I kind of love it at the same time. Uh, while trying to look that up, I came across another one. Oh man, I remember this. Which, this is something I probably should have recognized. A lot of trouble. But even then, even then, I don't know if I would have, like, figured it out. Ninja Star. And when I read this, which is in quotes, so that maybe should have been obvious that it was quoting something, I immediately thought of Malcolm in the Middle, when Malcolm's trying to bowl, and he misses, like, by two fractions of a something. <sighs> You know, it's something. But you can click on a few very specific letters, which, wow, I didn't realize there was only going to be one of each. Am I crazy? That's unexpected. You'd think some of these le letters would be more doubled up on. But anyways, you can just spell out Mulan. <laughs> it's, it's not that famous. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's more than one M. It's immediately wrong. Okay, that's oh, just, man, I just I got caught this. up in the wrong thing there. Maybe could have figured this one out on my own. I was never figuring out the Mulan or the Team Fortress one. There's, there's so many Team Fortress references across this series. But you can click on Butterfingers. <laughs> you just get a buttery snack. Like, I knew buttery snack was a Butterfingers thing. I And it just didn't occur to me on the spot that Butterfingers was already referenced once. And now I'm missing big ol' sword, big old master sword. Do not have an inkling for that one either. This is probably where that code's gonna be relevant. I just have no idea where to enter that. Oh, I totally did spot this. And now I feel so silly for having not done it. Cause I saw this phone or like keypad on the wall there and I meant to come back to it. I hope, I hope I remembered to point it out, like to say so. So that people don't think I'm lying for seeing it earlier. Oh no, it was 1412, wasn't it? Oh no, it worked. Alright, that was good then. Uh, I thought that was going to be it. Apparently there's more to this. Dang it, that I don't recognize immediately where in the ship that was. The Zelda-iness of it was pretty great though. There's, there we go. I could have figured that out based on that. Uh, hurry up now, activate the doors. To start spam clicking the doors. Wow, this is so deeply buried within this game. The big old sword gets, that's very exciting. Okay, okay, no more quick time. So it totally doesn't have its own fail text or anything like that. There are all the achievements. I just had to cheat a little bit. To get all the achievements and everything and completing the mission is gonna be, oh, it's gonna be quite the undertaking. There's gonna be like a hundred, like 170 fails or something like that. 16 endings, who knows how many bios. That alone, pre-editing, an hour and 19 minutes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of stickmen. I love it. I hope you do too. We're getting, we're getting near the end here, getting to the new stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.